What's up YouTube? It's the Action Figure Grader coming back to you with yet another unboxing. It's really strange. Everything seemed to kind of arrive at once as you guys have noticed with some of my PSA and uh, AFA unboxing, CAS. It seems like everything's just kind of coming all at once, but that's just the way it goes sometimes when you send a bunch of stuff out kind of earlier in the year. Uh, it seems like the grading companies are starting to play catch up. I sent a batch of vintage collection to AFA in early June, and uh, they just arrived back here today, which is December 7th, as of the filming of this video. And uh, the grades were not surprising, although they were better than uh, the last AFA batch I did of modern stuff. I think that they're probably appropriately graded, I don't know. But uh, this is gonna be kind of a fairly boring unboxing, only because it's really only four characters. I got multiples of the same character, but, the characters I did get are really nice. And the first one we're going to start off with is this one. This is the Ahsoka reissue VC-102. Is it 102? Yeah, VC-102. Uh, the reissue of Ahsoka with the brand new figure mold. Really nice. Uh, I, I got two of these, and uh, they both came back with the same score. So I'm keeping one, and then one is going off to a Patreon supporter that picked it up, uh, EP. It's, I've got one here for you. Uh, but this is a, a beautiful example, and I've already got the original issue on the U.S. card back, the Canadian version uh, that is also very nice, and then now I've got the reissue to kind of go along with it. So these were all Big Bad Toy Store collector grade. It seems like, in general, the, the grades were all pretty uniform, and uh, I think that B BBTS, at least for these, did a good job of selecting which ones they consider to be collector grade. Uh, so this one received an 85 plus, 85, 90, 95 were the sub scores on this one. So beautiful card back, you know, it's pretty timeless and a great less expensive option for those of you that don't want to spend the money on the original issue. So uh, I got, got that one back and I was very happy with it. And then I did get a second one EP, this one is yours. Uh, this one uh, scored an 85, 85, 90 for an overall 85 plus. So, you know, as we've talked about at the ch on the channel at length, AFA tends to grade about a half a point lower than UKG and CAS, and I think that was consistently the case here with, with this order. Uh, 85 pluses are probably about a CAS or UKG 90%, so uh, most of them did come back with an 85 plus. So we'll keep that Ahsoka there, but the next one is a really hot one, and uh, that is Finnick Sean from the Book of Boba Fett, just a gorgeous Gorgeous card back, certainly one of the one of the best releases from from this year. But look how beautiful that one is. Uh, just really, really happy. I mean, the face sculpt on that is pretty incredible. I mean, it really does look like the actress to a T. And uh, the card back is is pretty awesome. I mean, I, I just love this this card back. So uh, she was also packed in with a ton of different accessories, as you guys already know. So uh, man, this is the one that got the ninety. So this one got an overall ninety score. Very happy about that. Didn't get a lot of 90s in this batch, but I did get a few. So this one got the 90. 90, 90, 90 were the sub scores on that one. Very, very happy with it. And uh, this is VC221. And for those of you that have some money to burn, I do have some extras that I have for sale. Some of them have sold already. Uh, this is the other. Uh, I had two more uh, uh, Fennec Shans. Uh, this one also got the 90. This is going to a close friend of mine within the collecting community. I owe him a few favors. He got a TVC autographed for me. And I think we all know who that is. But in case you don't, I'll, I'll, give, you a little, I'll give you a little rebel code, okay? It rhymes with floss flounty, okay? So tr try to decipher that. Try to decipher my my rebel code if you're the Imperials. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna send him this one as a Christmas gift, just as a thank you for all the favors he's he's done for me. Uh, so uh, this one will will be going off to a new home. But it did get an AFA 90. So congratulations to uh, Flosk Flounty for for this one. I'll get that one in the mail along with a little a little gift for little Floss. Um, here is the other one, and this is one that is uh, already got a new home. This one got the 85 plus. So you know, two 90s and 185 plus for Phoenix Sean. You can't complain too much. This one got 85, 90, 90 overall for an overall 85 plus. So very, very happy with those. Uh, next up, I've got a, a few online exclusives, and uh, the first one is the Battlefront 2 Art Trooper from Star Wars Battlefront 2. This was the gaming greats that was available at all the online specialty retailers. 
looks fantastic. That card back is just incredible. Look at that. Very, very happy. I've got the Lambent Trooper, which is like the stealth black and yellow. I've got that one at CAS. I've got two of those at CAS, but th those will not be arriving for quite a while. For some reason, my order of the Lambent Trooper did not arrive with the others. But uh, this Arc Trooper, uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2, is just awesome. Really, really nice. This one got the 85 plus. 90, 85, 90 were the sub scores on that one. And I did get a number of these arc troopers and some of them are still for sale some of them have sold already uh, this one is the only ugly duckling in this entire batch of figures of, of 15 figures this one got the 80 plus which is fine i mean that's fun so this one's going to be for sale on rogue five toys or you can send me an email to actionfiguregrader at gmail.com this one is 75 dollars shipped in the u.s international is at cost with a 10 dollar credit but uh, this uh, is, you know, it's, it's a lower grade for a modern score, but or for a modern figure. But 85, 80, 90 are the sub scores. 80 plus, $75 shipped in the U.S. for that one. AF, and really the prices are, are, are tied mainly to AFA. I mean, AFA's shipping prices, return shipping, are just really, really expensive. So uh, that kind of eats the cost up a little bit in addition to the grading costs. I paid extra to get three-tier grading versus the single 1 to 10 score. I, I just like the three-tier grading better. I think it's it's almost a requirement when you're grading something. But uh, this one got the 85+. plus. Uh, I do have a couple of these left. Uh, I've already sold one. Uh, these are $130 shipped in the U.S. So uh, 85 plus, 85, 85, 90 on that one. And then uh, I've got another 85+. plus. So I've got two of these still available. One of them did sell, but they're $130 apiece. Uh, for those of you interested, international is at cost. 90, 85, 90 on that one. So very nice. And then the last one also got the 85 plus. So pretty consistent scores overall. You know, AFA just doesn't hand out 90s willy-nilly like UKG and CAS do to a certain extent. But you know, it is what it is. That's kind of how they that's how they operate. They're the they're the the kind of the the gold bear gold standard for when it comes to grading and and they are very harsh uh, even on modern stuff but this is the last figure that i've received and i got multiples of this one as well and this is the only one that got the 90 score this is the arc trooper lambent seeker i really love this one as well the the camino kind of hallway really harkens back to battlefront 2 absolutely love it just really awesome so um and i've already sold one of these but this is the 90 that is staying with me 90, 90, 95 were the sub scores on this one. Lambent Seeker Arc Troop. So very nice. And here's the back of this one. This one's got the Shea Vizsla re release and then the Lando Calrissian Battlefront 2, which I actually like a lot. I got that one somewhere in my closet. Um, and then let's see, we got some others that all arrived. This one got the 85 plus as well. Uh, 85, 90, 85. Where, is that 85? Yeah, 85 are the sub scores on that one. So. These also are each $130 shipped in the U.S. And I think I've got two of, or three of these still available. Uh, that one also got the 80, 85 plus, 90, 85, 90 are the sub scores on that one. And let's see, what else? Uh, move these out of the way so you guys can get a nice look at these. And then this one also got the 85 plus, 85, 85, 90. And then finally... To wrap up this boring video, uh, here is the last one, 85 plus, 90, 85, 90. So, so some of the sub scores are different for, you know, are, are different, you know, depending on uh, what they find. But in general, I've got, let's see, I got three 90s, 180 plus, and then 11 85 pluses. So in general, this batch did much better than the turnaround time experiment batch of modern stuff that I sent off that. Uh, I kind of question some of the scores, but you know it is what it is. You know, I think part of part of the reason why these uh, Battlefront Two figures held up pretty well is because they only went to the online retailer. So I would imagine that Hasbro probably took a little bit of care with how they ship those to, uh, you know, to Big Bad Toy Store or Entertainment Earth, and you know those kind of you know, star action figures, just because they were online exclusives. So they didn't want to, you know, have a bunch of bad batches. As no pun intended, but uh, a bunch of bad batches or, or beat up items, since they were probably produced in lower numbers versus the standard retail releases like Fennec Shan and the Ahsoka re-release. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed looking at these. If you have any interest in buying any of them. 
I know that some of you probably do. Just shoot me an email to actionfiguregrader at gmail.com and I can work out all the details with you privately. Or you can look for them to be listed soon on Rogue 5 Toys on Facebook and the link to Rogue 5 Toys will be in the video description to this video. Uh, if you liked it, please be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be back soon.